Right now, take a live look as Ann said, the San Diego Bay where this boat is still burning. 10 News has been bringing you live coverage since that fire broke out this morning. And we have team coverage tonight, including the impact the constant billowing smoke is having on nearby Seaport Village. But let's go straight to 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina live where crews are just letting this fire burn itself out, Steve. The view is constantly changing out here. You see smoke coming off of that. They're pouring heavy water on it. Just seconds ago, I turned my back and they've already moved. But uh, the smoke pouring out of various holes on that ship. We've seen flare ups, flames shooting into the sky. Huge flames and tremendously thick black smoke pouring from the fishing boat. But concern for human lives is top priority. We have not located the crew at this point. A two person crew attached to the Norton Sound, the whereabouts unknown. And this boat fire has been an inferno. This was and continues to be a very difficult fire to fight. Anything involving a ship, essentially we have to go down through the chimney to reach the fire down below in the ship. So it's a very, very hot um, and nasty fire for our firefighters to try and attack. High powered jets of water being aimed at the hull to cool it down. Firefighters running hoses into portholes. The attack launched from all sides. Firefighters for a time on the ship itself. Very dangerous. People on the boardwalk watching and praying. I was just saying, please be safe. Please be safe. <laughs> Firefighters. Firefighters taking risks, of course, but cautiously. We treat it like a high rise that's laying on its side. Um, they're very difficult, made out of steel, heat transfers around. Um, the conditions for ventilation, you know, it's, it's, it's hard to control it. Another concern is trying to douse the fire without sinking the boat. But it's definitely a possibility. Uh, as we continue to put water in the ship, you, it can become more and more unstable. You can see that it's listing very slightly to the starboard side right now. Um, so we're keeping an eye on that. And as soon as we can, we'll get uh, crews in there to start doing some dewatering and remove the water that we put into it. There is good news on that front. The bilge pump kicked on just a few minutes ago. We saw water shooting out of the back, so the electrical system not completely out. It is still too hot, though, for firefighters to get inside and make a thorough check to see if there are any victims or look for the cause. Live at San Diego Bay, Steve Fiorina, 10 News.